Welcome to Vendix Trade Training for Workshop 4 staff. Today we'll be looking at a typical brake drum service on this fuel cab ute. There are a couple of signs to look out for to determine whether or not your drum brakes are due for a service. Look out for inconsistent brake pedal feel, a loose handbrake or scraping noise while driving. Once the vehicle is up in the air and the rear wheels are off, make sure the handbrake is disengaged and remove the brake drums like so. Depending on how the rear brake drum setup works on your vehicle, you may need to remove a retaining clip or undo a couple of Phillips head retaining screws. If the drum is stubborn, you may need to persuade it with a soft base hammer to release it from the hub. With the drum off, depress the springs and twist the retaining clips to release the shoes from the backing plate. Use a screwdriver or pliers to pop off the springs from the shoes and separate them from the hub. Moving on to the brake slave cylinders, Peel back the sealing boot and check for any brake fluid leakage. If there's any leakage present, the cylinder will need to be replaced and the brake system bled afterwards. Next, have a look at the brake drums. It's always a good idea to have them machined as part of every brake service. Brake drums are marked with their maximum allowable inside diameter and should never be machined beyond this limit. Once the limit's been reached, you'll need to replace the brake drum. In this case, replace them with new brake drum. Now it's time to get it all back together to remove any corrosion from the drum brake assembly and hub and give the backing plate a good clean with your Bendix brake cleaner. Next, refit the new Bendix brake shoes. The refitting process is a simple reversal of the removal process. Once everything inside the brake drum is back together, time to adjust the drum brakes. Use the adjuster at the top of the drum brake assembly to wind out the brake shoes and attempt to refit the drum. If the drum won't go back over the shoes, you've adjusted it too far. If the drum fits and you don't feel any drag between the drum and the shoe, you'll need to adjust it out some more. The final adjustment can be done through the back of the drum brake backing plate. Remove the access boot and use a small flat blade screwdriver to adjust the final drag. Further adjustment may be needed. Once you're finished, make sure the fluid in the master cylinder is at the correct level and the cap is tight. With the wheels fitted and torqued to spec, give the pedal a few test bumps and make sure the shoes are against the brake drum face. Once you've done the road test, the brake job's complete. For more technical trade training content, visit bendix.com.au. Bendix. Put your foot down with confidence.